Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the second week of uh, June reads, start from the 8th through the 14th of June, 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So Virgo, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding Oracle cards and a lot more in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming in for you. What is coming in for you for this week time starting 8th through the 14th of June 2023. Let's see. Wow. I really feel like, you know, it's going to be a perfect time to manifest your, your dreams, desires, and goals. Uh, you will be connecting a lot to the divine that you believe in. Uh, you would be spending a lot of time in isolation. Uh, and I feel like, you know, if you really want to manifest something, there are some mental action that you really need to take towards that. Um, meditations can bring you a lot of answers that you are seeking right now from your life. Uh, be that regarding your love life, work life, or home life. I really feel like, you know... Um, you will have a sense of detachment from so many things, so many people in your life, and you would have the sense of attachment to um, to your own self. You're going to love yourself. You're going to value yourself. You're going to pamper yourself. You're going to listen to yourself. You'll be having a good connect and a bond with yourself during this week time. Uh, brown and light brown or golden brown color is going to be lucky or significant for you. I really feel like, you know, if you are looking for answers in regards to any area of your life, meditate and you will be given the answers. Effort and gratitude gains your support and respect. I feel like you know, for a majority of you, you are going to be, like I said earlier, I really feel like you, know, you are going to stop thinking that wherever you are right now in your life, you're going to start feeling the need to be grateful for all that has happened in your life. So you might be having a flashback of so many things having, you know, ha happened in your life. But at the same time, you're going to look at things from a positive perspective. You're going to learn the lesson and you're going to move forward. So really, I feel like, you know, this this card is also, you know, indicates that there will be a lot of wisdom um, that you are going to experience during this week time coming from your past experiences. I feel like, you know, you will be open to, uh, help other people as well to learn from your own experiences that you've had. Um, visualize a shower of white light during meditation. Use more of the color blue for seven days. So, wow. I really feel like you know, it's going to be a time where you are going to cleanse out your soul from any negativity, any negative pattern, any negative, um, you know, or unhealthy pattern that you might have been following in life. For, for so long, you are going to push aside the laziness and distraction as well. Um, this card also indicates knowledge, learning, inner power, and insights are of vital importance now. Uh, so you are going to be taking care of that. Uh, you are going to be com uh, completely focusing on improving your focus onto the things that you truly desire to manifest in your life. Um, you are also going to be in, you know, going deep into learning more about how can you manifest things that you want to manifest in your life? So your interest in occult science is also going to be increasing during this week time. Make a conscious effort to improve your memory and retain all that you read. Make a to-do list and complete it as casual. You have the ability to transform ordinary projects into extremely beneficial ones. Seek and you shall receive. The search is over as the answers lie within you. So I really feel like you know, for a majority of you, this is going to be the time when you would rather choose to become the magnet to all that you desire. Do inner work and manifest in your outer reality. So it's going to be a perfect time to create that um, routine which, which enhances your own powers and make you feel stable at peace from within allowing things to get attracted towards you. So I feel like you know, it's going to be a perfect time uh, for a majority of you to start into the journey of manifestation for yourself and um, stop chasing people, stop chasing things in your life, allow things to come to you um, and having that faith 
and having that clarity that you are powerful and you can do that as well. So I really feel like, you know, it's going to be a lot of uh, uh, time spent during the this week time with yourself, uh, working towards your success, working towards your happiness, working towards your um, love that you truly desire and seek. And I feel like, you know, it's more of the mental actions that you are taking because all that you seek outside of you is actually within you. So you don't have to seek it outside. You just have to believe, experience it from within, and then you will see it coming to you in the outer reality. So we do have two of wands, three of pentacles, and six of wands. Now, I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, the best thing that I see here is you learning from the experiences that you've had and taking action to make your life better, uh, you know, learning from these experiences and not ready to repeat any old cycle with any person or in any situation. I really see you setting some new goals for yourself to achieve and you manifest them. I feel like, you know, you are going to be getting very successful in the coming days to weeks time. This week is just the beginning. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, you will be choosing to spend time alone. You would not choose to uh, be with people right now. I feel like, you know, you are going to be understanding a lot of power that you get to have when you're spending time with the divine that you believe in and your own divine self as well because it teaches you a lot of things that you couldn't teach in the hustle bustle of life and i really feel like you know um that's what you are doing right now detaching yourself from worldly pressures and taking your time off from something and taking care of yourself taking care of your needs taking care of your desires nourishing them uh, believing in them um focusing your your thoughts onto them. I really feel like, you know, that's what I see coming in for you during this week time. So I really don't think it's going to be a week where you're going to be focusing on one area of your life and ignoring the other. I do see you successful in all areas of your life. Let's see. Wow. We do have three of cups, queen of wands, king of cups, and the high priestess. Your intuition is going to be on point, And the best thing is you connect and connect with the divine is going to become stronger and stronger every day. So you are going to have a stronger than ever sixth sense. You will be able to pick up signs and messages coming from the divine. I really see you very much like a magnet to the love that you truly desire as well. People who you would uh, uh, have chased before are going to be the ones following you now. Uh, loving you now, whether you want it or you don't, but they will be loving you. I really feel like, you know, you are um choosing not to do anything that you might have been doing in the past uh you're putting an end to the past scenarios and past situations for some of you if you have been having you know a pattern that you were following where you were you you know where you used to go to a past person uh craving for them needing them and all those things you are going to put to an, end, an end to that i really feel like you know you are going to choose uh to love yourself value yourself um be a better version of yourself and that is going to become you know, the sole attraction point for the people who you de desire to come to you, desiring you more. The people who have, might have uh, disappointed you in the past would be willing to have a love um, relationship with you. But I really feel like, you know, to be honest, I really don't see you choosing love right now. Um, when it comes to coming from another person, you're choosing to love yourself and give your time and attention to yourself. So it could be a phase of your life where you are um healing yourself by loving yourself more and actually um understanding your own worth and working towards building that foundation to anything that you truly desire where you value yourself more and even if somebody comes in your life or become a part of your life you are going to make sure that you keep that uh status of yourself to you know um where, where you, you put someone on pedestal it's always you so I feel like you know that understanding is going to be um, the most important thing probably you need right now. And I feel like, you know, that change, that shift that is happening in you during this week time is going to be uh, bringing you a lot of success. Like I said earlier in the very beginning, uh, in the first row of the cards that we had, I really feel like, you know, there is abundance coming up for you. There is success coming up for you in love, work or home life situation, whether you see it right now or you don't. But as you're going to start doing this, your life is going to change completely. Uh, let's see more cards here. What else is coming in for you for this week time? What else is coming in for you for this week time? 
What else is coming in for you for this week time? What else is coming in? What else is coming in for you for this week time? Virgo, what is coming in for you? What else is coming in for you? I really feel like, you know, you are going to be holding on to stability from within. You are going to be making sure that you're feeling stable and in balance from within. You will be working towards your own success, your own goals, your own career, your own, uh, you know, way of uh, wanting and looking for things that you want to manifest for yourself. You are going to feel very much in power and in control uh, when it comes to your emotions during this uh, week time. You are not going to be getting overwhelmed with anything. You are going to make sure that you are going to Kind of like, you know, um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, probably you might have been disappointed in love in recent times and you're not going to let that affect you or your work progress at all. What you're doing now is choosing to stay single, stay, stay alone, stay away from any relationship for now and valuing yourself, bringing the change from within, which is required right now for you to have a change pattern in love. So that's what is the most important thing that is happening right now for you. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, it's more like you're definitely setting the tone for, for your life uh, to come because um, that's, you know, how you, how you don't get vulnerable to get hurt because you know your worth and value. So that shift is there. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So I really feel like, you know, you are just um, getting closer to your divine purpose. You're going to be like doing good things for yourself, for the people around you. You will be helping them as well. And you will be helping, you know, uh, yourself as well from, from um, you know, how to have to break free from the patterns that you were having earlier in your life. And when you do that successfully, you are going to make sure that you you help other people also to break free from unhealthy patterns that they might have been following in their life as well. So I really see that coming um you know, for you, for some of you, you are going to start helping a lot of people, socializing with people who need your love and support right now to be successful in their own journey as well. For some of you, you might be dealing with uh, someone who, um, you know, uh, or you yourself could be someone who, who, who is a mentor. Maybe you are somebody who is into public dealing as well. Or maybe somebody like that might enter in your life who's going to help you in that journey of yours as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till later, the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.